Welcome to Legacy of Leaders. I'm Dan Edelman of Heritage Capital, your host today on Daily News Network. Joining me today is Joey Batchelor of Guardian Fueling Technologies. Joey, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Joey, you and I go back a lot of years when you were starting and building a business yes. that you subsequently have sold yes. to a family office, looked at private equity. You've been sort of through the gamut. If I'm a young leader who's looking to build a business and ultimately sell it to a private equity or family office, what advice would you give to that leader? Well, I'd start by saying uh, have thick skin. <laughs> uh, remember that building a business is a, a marathon, not a sprint. And you're going to be faced with lots of challenges um, over those years and decades, in my case, that it, that it took. but. Uh, surround yourself with good people, um, set, a, set a great vision for those people and motivate them and uh, empower them to, to uh, go achieve the vision you set out for them. You know, Joey, I know from our history, you've been fortunate to have good partners. I have. Um, and, and I think, you know, from my experience, a lot of leaders get lost between looking for the the most dollars versus looking for the right business partner. That's a fact. You know, how, how have you been able to sort of navigate and decipher that? Yeah, well, I was really fortunate. Um, I bought this business in 1996. We had one small office in Southeast Florida. And uh, we had more opportunity than we did capital. And so I was introduced to a gentleman here in Jacksonville uh, who had, had a very, very successful business and had, had sold it to a large public company. And I got lucky that he, he took me under my wing at a young age and uh, taught me really how to run a business. Uh, I, I knew the nuts and bolts of what we did for customers every day, but I didn't really understand all the, the aspects of, of really running a business that happened behind the scenes. Uh, the financing, uh, balance sheet management, dealing with banks, with, with uh, legal challenges or opportunities with the business, and, and really learning how to manage the business um, without emotion and uh, not, not always reacting to the challenges that are in front of you uh, in, in a state of panic but more plotting your way through those challenges so that, uh, again, you're, you're playing the long game, not the today game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, you know, I know that gentleman very well, yes. and uh, you are very fortunate to have had somebody like that. And, and, and I know your current business partner has been very helpful, and it's their objectives meet your objectives. I mean, too many times I see business owners looking to sell to a private equity group or a family office, and it's not the right partner. Right. And I know you've talked <laughs> to some of those people before. We and have, we have. Yeah, back to your point, I, I was very fortunate with the, the gentleman that got involved with us here in Jacksonville to help us out. And, you know, I, I don't think that I could have asked for a better mentor and friend to this day, still one of my yep. dear friends. But um, being aligned with, with your capital partners is so important. Uh, when we went through the process of, of selling the business, um, you know, we had 30 or 40 different private equity and family shop type uh, interested parties and, you know, going through the process of management presentations and getting to know all these various uh, folks, um, there are a lot of different types out there. Um, and it was very important for me to to bring in a group that shared my vision for the business, that understood where I wanted to be in 15 years or so. And the great part about the partners that I brought in is that unlike traditional private equity, they didn't really have a sunset date to their investment. Right. And at the time that we brought them in, I, you know, relatively young and wanted to work another 15 years or so uh, without transacting two or three more times right. during that, that time frame. So, uh, the group I found a family shop, which is very different than traditional private equity, uh, have given me that runway, and uh, we're we're 
gosh, eight or nine years into to that partnership now. And uh, they've really provided us with capital and kind of gotten out of the way and uh, let me build a team and, and go out and set a vision for that team. And we've done some incredible things with the business. The right partner is really important. I mean, I tell people the right partner, no different than the right spouse. That's correct. Can make a huge difference in your life. It really can. Um, and the success of your business. 100% true. So you, you've been very fortunate, but you were deliberate and careful about doing that. We, we were. We were. Um, what's the hardest thing about being an entrepreneur? I mean, you've really been from the ground up, and you know, if I'm a young entrepreneur, what would you say is the, the hardest thing? Uh, it, it's lonely. <laughs> uh, I bought this business when I was 26 years old. Uh, you know, borrowed from Peter to pay Paul, had very little in the way of assets at that time, and you know, jumped off the deep end. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's lonely. Uh, there, there, there are a lot of challenges along the way, but, you know, the, the stick to itiveness and the grind, as I call it all the time, uh, there, there's joy in that too. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage those who, who are interested in entrepreneurialism to, um, to have a lot of passion about what they're doing and a lot of patience. And I would just add to what you've said, just in, in recapping what you said earlier, find a good mentor. Very and important. A, a good business partner. Very important. And surround yourself with good people. Good people is the key. And, uh, you know, I've learned over the years, I mean, our, our business is approaching about 700 people now. Hmm. And I've learned over the years that being a good leader is, is not about doing everything yourself. You know, leadership can be defined in so many different ways and it's situational. Uh, you know, there are times when as a leader you gotta be the tough guy, but from my experience, that's maybe 10 or 15% of the time. Being a good leader is hiring the right people, giving them a vision, and then inspiring them to, get, to believe that they can go accomplish mm -hmm. those things. And really it's more of a coach. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, for you, those of you watching. Hopefully you've gotten some good thoughts and nuggets out of this conversation this morning. Joey, thank you for joining me. Dan Edelman with Heritage Capital, your host with Joey Batchelor from Guardian Fueling Thanks Technology. Thanks for having me, Dan.